You know what they say, boys. The early bird gets the worm. But who gets the early bird? Well, I'll tell you who. Me. 4.21 a.m., boys. And we are late to get this started. We are opening up the latest fly crate. Now, fly crate's not just for trout. If you stand by, I'm going to show you how you can use fly fishing to catch bass. Stay tuned. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to No Redemption Outdoors, and welcome to the office. Uh, it's early in the morning. We haven't started work yet, but we're getting ready. And I thought, well, before we dive in, I uh, might first dive into this box. The November 2020 Fly Crate. Uh, before I get into this box, though, I want to direct your attention to the link above, where we uh, rolled out our new segment, the three-minute grab bag giveaway. And just like the name implies, we have a giant grab bag filled with all kinds of uh, baits of every kind from every manufacturer, ranging from Six Cents to, to Strike King to Big Gulp to just all over the place, right? Everything you can imagine. And um, we reach in once a week. We grab one out at random. We feature that bait. And then the following week, we have a drawing and give it away. And so get up there, check out that video, find out how you can enter. And because we're doing this every Saturday, there are lots of chances to win. All you have to do is watch and win. So with that, let's carry on. <clears throat> like I mentioned, the Fly Crate is a monthly subscription box, $19.99. And um, they have the option to target particular species. And uh, because of my interest in bass, obviously, I chose that. And they then curate flies based on the time of year and your chosen species that, uh, uh, you know, are supposed to make you a more effective fly fisherman. Now, full confession, I haven't actually gone out and, act and caught a bass on a fly rod yet. Uh, let's just say circumstances got in the way. The world got in the way. Things happen. Uh, so with some chagrin and a lot of embarrassment, I admit that, but I remain committed, and therefore I have continued on with the subscription as I build up a little bit of an arsenal. And I'm learning, I'm watching videos, I'm reading, and I'm, and I'm gathering information about how to do this. So I will be ready to, when I finally grab the rod out, I will be ready. I will be a predator. Now, as with every subscription box, there is the requisite sticker. That is, that's a pretty cool sticker, actually. I, I have to say, I admire the stickers that I get in the fly crate boxes. Um, Monster Bass has pretty good ones, too. But these guys, these guys put some nice stickers out. Uh, also, there is the monthly circular, uh, the, guide my, ma uh, the Guide Magazine. As you can see by the size of that print, this is some rather information-dense articles. So, uh, exactly what I'm looking for. You know, I'm, a, I'm on a learning curve, and the more I'm like a sponge, I'm trying to learn how to use that fly rod and what baits to choose and so forth in any given circumstance. And so these, these are very, very helpful in that regard. All right, here we go. Here are the actual baits. And as you can see, it's inside a clear container. Inside of the container are the baits and a what's inside card. Now, in previous boxes that I've gotten, the container was a round, opaque green. Um, this month it's clear. I don't know if that's something they've done a lot, but I personally like it better this way because those other containers I have no particular use for and they'll just gather. I won't feel bad about throwing that one out. And there it is. And then on the back, it gives you a little bit of information about each one. 
So I thought we would just kind of go right on down. I gotta put my glasses on. We'll just go right on down. Uh, the first thing up is Mr. P's Tiger Paw, size number six. That's this guy right here. Let's see if I can give you a look at him. Uh, I hope that's coming into focus for you. I'm trying the best I can. All right. Let's see what it says about this one. The uh, Mr. P's Tiger Paw, a great pattern to twitch in deep drop-offs on bright sunny days. A sinking leader is recommended. So I wonder if that's better in clear water. Hmm. Okay. All right, so that's the Mr. P's Tiger Paw. All right, next item <clears throat> is the the Popping Bugger, size number four. All right. Now, as you can see, this is a white with red. Looks like these foam discs, a number of white foam discs, and then a red one on the end, all glued together. And obviously feathers and streamers. The... Uh, Popping bugger, look to shallow areas directly in the sun that will warm up quickly. This will draw bait fish into the shallows and with it, bigger fish. Use slower retrievals with long pauses in between. I wonder if a little, a little bit of erratic action too would be advisable. Okay, uh, that's the popping bugger. All right, next up is the Conehead Bite Me Bugger in black. That's this guy right here. All right, so this is a, um, again, this is a black fur slash feather with some green fluorescent streamers. And then the head of it is a weighted, looks like a brass. I don't know if it's brass, but it's... Uh, little weighted bullet head kind of thing. They call a cone head. <laughs> and so reading on this, the cone head bite me bugger in black. These streamers are great for getting deep and for moving lots of water. Let these sink a few seconds before stripping it back in. Experiment each cast with different depths and stripping speeds until you find the right combo. So it sounds like, you, you know, you do a certain count as it sinks and then you begin to retrieve it. And depending on where you want it in the water column, you might retrieve it a little faster or you might start your retrieval a little sooner or a little later in deeper areas. So, all right, that is the uh, Conehead Bite Me Bugger. All right, next one up, and I can kind of eyeball on this, is the uh, Bjorn's Wild Thing in Copper. Now this thing has a way of just kind of jumping out at you. Check that out. That again is a weighted head, so it's kind of like a jig head. And probably fishes much the same way. Let's see what it says. The, the Bjorn's Wild Thing in Copper. Bjorn's Wild Thing is a top-heavy streamer for darting through the depths, target drop-offs, and around structure. So I kind of have a visual of this. I may, you know, I just recently set up a tank at my house, and um, I'll talk about that in future videos, but I would like to maybe try this thing out in there and see. I imagine it goes to the bottom and you just kind of erratically bring it back and it jerks around very erratically. That's what I'm assuming. It's kind of how it des described. So that's the Bjorn Wild Thing in Copper. Uh, really kind of a cool looking bait. All right, next thing, Boogeyman, size four in black. Now this is interesting. This is actually what I would call a jointed, a jointed bait, a jointed fly bait. 
you have the first half, which is the hook, and then there's another hook. Actually, it has two hooks on this trailer here that is able to swivel. And so this is actually a fly that is jointed and has two hooks. Now that's really interesting. Well, let's see what it has to say about it. The Boogeyman in black, the Boogeyman streamer is an articulated pattern with a trailing hook. These are best for skinny water with plenty of aquatic vegetation for predators to ambush from. I'm not sure I know exactly what they mean by skinny waters. Do you guys know what that means? Um, I've not actually heard that phrase, skinny water. I don't know if that means shallow. Uh, drop a comment down below. But uh, interesting. Wow, that's really cool. I would be, I am kind of eager now, more than ever, to get out there because this thing, I would love to try, tie this on. That's, that's interesting. <laughs> All right, last but not least is the Micro Zonker in brown. So this guy is a size 8. This is a little guy. You're going to look at that. So as you can see, it's pretty much a um, brown fur, or fat, I guess that's fur, with some fluorescent green streamers and... Um, very small hook number eight it says as realistic as any pattern can get the micro zonker is ideal for shallow water where bait fish school okay all right well there you have it guys that is the november 2020 fly crate what do you think for you guys out there who are um, you know fly fishermen who catch bass Tell me what you think about this. What do you think of these? Uh, and, and also, uh, with regard to this being mid-November, are these the right baits to use this time of year? Soon, we'll start seeing ice on the water. So, I'm talking maybe in the next few weeks. So, we're getting there. So, is this the right thing to use this time of year? I'd be very curious to know what you think. Uh, all right, guys. Well, like I mentioned, I have work to do. So... I am going to wrap this up. I'm going to invite you to stop over to Instagram. Check me out there. See my new page over at Pornhub. Check me out on Facebook. Drop a comment down below. I always appreciate that. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. And uh, if you like what we're doing, subscribe. And like I said earlier, make sure you get over and check out that video and win one of those baits. With that, I'm going to wrap things up and uh, say until we meet again. Take care, guys.